These 27 tips will instantly make you a better guitarist. If you feel that picking is difficult for you and the strings are getting stuck on your pick, try twisting it gently. A slight twist will not negatively affect the sound and will make picking much easier. It's normal for a guitar pick to slip from your fingers at first. With experience you will get rid of this problem and the pick will become part of you. Generally guitarists grip the pick too tightly. Try to relax and find the middle ground. Keep an eye on the depth of plucking of the strings. If you dig too deep, you're asking for trouble. If your hands sweat a lot, wash them often along with your guitar picks. Fresh smelling plectrum has a much better grip. It's worth having a few pieces up your sleeve at the gig. A guitar pick affects not only the comfort of playing, but also the sound. Experiment and choose what suits you best. The freshness of the pick is not only the amount of sweat and dirt, but also the sharpness of the tip. It's a good idea to replace it from time to time. Before you start playing with the amplifier settings, find your sound along the length of the string. Depending on where you pluck it, you will get a softer or sharper effect. If you want to sound like a pro, you need to learn to control the dynamics. Three-dimensional playing consists not only of normal strokes, but also accents and ghost notes. The force of the strike depends on the deformation of the string, not on how big you swing it. Learn to play hard up close by pressing the string harder. An incredibly effective way to exercise is to isolate one arm. Before you start putting the lick together, try to learn only the picking pattern. During this time you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel with your left hand. Picking exercise require good timing. Always use a metronome as it is your best friend. Not only will it help you maintain your pace, but you can also use it to gradually increase the difficulty level. Getting used to the metronome takes time, so don't get discouraged at the beginning. If you have problems with playing evenly, move your hand even when you are not playing. Frankly speaking, if your hand gets too tense during downstrokes, try practicing upstrokes alone. Typically, the problem is not the downward motion, but the return of the hand to the neutral position. After a short upstroking session, you will unlock your down picking. While observing my students, I notice that many people tend to pick up the string from the bottom. It's highly ineffective. Remember that a pick is not a spoon. The grip of a guitar pick is an individual matter. If you don't know how to start, try my way. I hold it on the surface of my thumb and on the side of my index finger. The tip of the pick sticks out very slightly. The remaining fingers are free to be used for other techniques, for example, hybrid picking. Effective and comfortable strumming have little in common with what we see in punk rock music videos. Even though playing with the whole arm looks spectacular, the optimal way is to make a rotational movement of the wrist, which resembles changing a light bulb. If you still feel that your hand is tense, try to gently push your wrist out. It should help you big time. The hand movement can also be compared to shaking. You tense your muscles at the beginning and then your hand falls freely. Strumming doesn't always involve plucking all the strings at once. Pay attention to this when learning new patterns. Regardless of whether you pick a single string or pluck all of them at once, try to limit the movement as much as possible. The smaller the movement you make, the faster you will be able to play. The most important thing in guitar exercises is awareness of movement and accurate repetition. You need to know when to do downstroke and when to do upstroke and try to do it the same way all the time. This is how you build habits and muscle memory. Playing the guitar is creating sound, so if you want to assess the quality of what comes out of your fingers, close your eyes and listen. A great way to assess your progress is to record your exercises. Try recording on your phone and then look at yourself from a third person perspective. You will notice things that you miss while playing. When you step across the strings, try not to jump your wrist. Find a movement that makes changing strings natural and doesn't strain your hand. There are three most common ways to deal with this problem. 
downstroke escape motion, upstroke escape motion and double escape motion. One of the most frequently asked questions is whether you should practice on a clean or distorted tone. The answer is complex. Clean sound will help you develop control over dynamics and distortion will show muting problem. So practice both ways. The key to good sound is proper string muting. Most often the right hand takes care of the bass strings and the left mutes treble. Of course, this is a gross simplification. For example, I often lie on my thumb, thanks to which when playing the treble strings I am able to control the others. Tone muting is interesting and complex. The sound it creates is influenced not only by the force with which you press the strings, but also by the spot where you place your hand. In my opinion, the biggest guitar myth is that you always have to practice slowly. Developing speed at a certain stage should be based on the so-called chunking technique. If you wanna, I can record something about this in the future. Just let me know. Finally, remember not to believe everything you hear on the internet. Most often the answer to the problem is simply spending more time with the guitar. There are no magic methods, the process of learning itself makes the magic. Trust the process and check out my latest workout, picking and legato. Grab your guitar!